I'm Simon Grunewald here with the week six fan duel hurry up to give you three players that you should be adding off the waiver wire to help you win your fantasy leagues. The first player I wanted to talk about was Seattle Seahawks rookie running back Kenneth Walker. Now, Kenneth Walker should be your top waiver wire target this week. Rashad Penny went down with a fractured tibia, meaning he could miss the rest of the season. And Kenneth Walker took over as the clear lead back, turning eight carries into 88 yards and a touchdown. Now, he won't get much receiving work, so it caps his upside a little bit, but he should see 15 plus carries on a weekly basis, which automatically puts him in the RB2 category on volume alone. And this rookie is electric, which means there's upside for him to be a top 12 running back in certain weeks against good matchups. If he is on your waiver wire, which he's rostered in 50 to 65% of leagues, depending on your platform, you should be throwing everything you have at him. The opportunity to pick up a starting running back for the rest of the season off waiver wire doesn't come along very often. So this is the time to burn that top waiver priority or spend all your fab on a player. This could be a league winner. The next player I want to talk about, another rookie, but this time a wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. Alec Pierce showed up in week four, and then in week five, he didn't go anywhere. He proceeded to be the one bright spot in that game that was otherwise a fantasy football vacuum, receiving a team high nine targets for eight receptions and 81 yards, uh, making it two weeks in a row now that he's hit 80 yards. Rookie wide receivers have a habit of turning it on over the second half of the season as they develop into their NFL roles. The fact that we're seeing glimpses of this from Alec Pierce, two games in a row, heavily targeted, heavily involved, is a good sign that his usage could go up as the season goes on. While Michael Pittman will continue to be the one in that offense, Alec Pierce is definitely worth a pickup as a rookie wide receiver that's already heavily involved in his offense. The last player, about as far from a rookie as we can get, we've got veteran wide receiver Randall Cobb of the Green Bay Packers. Now, going into week five, Aaron Rodgers was very vocal about Randall Cobb needing to be more involved in this Packers offense, quoting his ability to make plays. Um, and if Aaron Rodgers has decided that Cobb is his guy, then who are we to argue with that? In Sunday's loss to the Giants, Randall Cobb saw 13 targets, turning it into seven receptions for 99 yards. While he likely won't see that 13 target volume every single week, Rodgers is the kind of quarterback that throws to wide receivers that he trusts, and he clearly trusts Randall Cobb. The chance alone that he could be this dude in a Green Bay Packers offense is reason enough to pick him up and throw him on your bench for weeks ahead. 